Late long stretches of the Lexus RX have had three essential credits to possibly prevail upon medium-size SUV customers, unmistakable styling, a below-the-norm sticker price among its friends, and the apparent dependability of its parent organization. But at the same time it's been not too energizing to drive and allows somewhere near a focal showcase to screens UI that is disappointing and diverting to use while you're in the driver's seat. In any event, those are the attributes displayed by the earlier Age RX, which traces all the way back to 2016. Lexus is appearing an updated RX for 2023, loaded with a scope of new powertrains and different overhauls. Boss among them is, at last, the expulsion of the much-despised touchpad regulator. The RX 350 has in length managed with a normally suctioned V6 motor, yet the new model hacks two or three chambers however adds constrained enlistment to compensate for the power shortage. The 2023 RX 350 is driven by a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-chamber siphoning out 275 strength and 317 pound-feet of force. Looked at against the active model, the new RX has 20 less strength yet 50 more LBFT. Lexus says the front-wheel drive RX 350 can advance rapidly from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds, and choosing all-wheel drive drops the assessed speed increase time to 7.2 seconds. The last front-wheel drive RX 350 we tried posted a 0 to 60 season of 7.9 seconds, so the new powertrain, in addition to weight reserve funds of up to almost 200 pounds, seems to manage somewhat faster speed increase than its ancestor. We additionally anticipate that the new four-chamber should be somewhat more eco-friendly also. Yet again the transmission stays an 8-speed programmed and, both front and all-wheel drive powertrains are accessible. Lexus hasn't delivered full data about the RX's inside, yet we really do know a couple of things. The wheelbase is a couple inches longer for 2023, which ought to mean a slight knock in legroom for front and back travelers. Standard and accessible tech elements will incorporate a head-up show, configurable encompassing lighting and an all-encompassing sunroof, all ordinary stuff for an extravagance hybrid SUV in this cost range. The main change, in any case, comes as the new infotainment framework. Lexus has at long last discarded the touchpad regulator that made the UI so burdensome and challenging to connect with in last year's model. It rather utilizes a basic touchscreen, though interspersed with a couple of actual dials that permit you to enter the ideal temperature for the front seat environment framework rapidly. We've tried this connection point in a few more current Toyota and Lexus items, including the new Toyota Tundra and Lexus NX350, and keeping in mind that it's not famously easy to understand, exploring around the menus is fundamentally simpler.